Julia, thank you. Let's take a turn to the weather as we get a look outside downtown right now. Uh, that is where the Madam Walker Legacy Center is, and we are holding Wish TV's debate that happens at 630. Uh, it's not a bad evening if you wanted to get out. a little chilly, but maybe yeah. throw on a jacket and get outside. Yeah, our numbers are a little cooler um, today. Um, we dropped off quite a bit, uh, but that's what cold fronts do. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow we'll bounce back. We'll see a much better forecast for you as we remain near normal. Um, so when you're outside tomorrow, I want you to think about that that's what it should feel like tomorrow, not today. Okay. Um, um, today at 46, a little bit below normal. 50s for some locations off to the south and low 40s for areas off to the north. Now, we look at the temperature trend. We mentioned that it's cooler. Temperatures are coming in 5 to 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. Yeah, that's a cool down. It's the power of a cold front. Now, as we look at what's expected next, well, you talk about what it feels like in the actual air temperature there. Uh, South Bend at 42 feels like 35. Indianapolis 46 feels like 41. And Bloomington at 48 feeling more like 44. All right, here's your win. Um, when direction has shifted for us, cold front really drops our numbers and wind shift. They're not out of the west at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, temperatures dropping off. From the 40s down into the 30s here, um, you're going to wake up tomorrow morning to 30 degree temperatures, but it's a hard freeze. What I mean by that is I'm expecting temperatures to drop near to below the freezing mark. With wind chills, it will feel colder for us. And as we look at the clear and dry conditions, when you get that combination, that clear, that dry, that cold, sometimes frost, sometimes frost will develop and it's possible for us tomorrow. Tomorrow's forecast. Okay, so I told you tomorrow when you go outside, I want you to, to actually just... Think about it, because this is what it should feel like. I'm talking 46 at noon. Temperatures peak in the mid to upper 50s. That is normal for us. Partly cloudy skies, but there are some chances of rain trying to develop tomorrow. Let's go over that. So this is an updated forecasting model. Futurecast here showing us that cloud cover will thicken. We expect that, right? Because we talked about partly cloudy skies. Here's what's new. Um, this model now trying to throw in a spot sprinkle after 5, 6 p.m. for Lafayette over into Kokomo. It doesn't seem to make it very far. It's, it doesn't seem to do much, but it's showing in, throwing in that same chance uh, for you on your Thursday night. So we'll watch for that. Same story on Friday, putting in a few showers early and then a chance for a shower late. I would say that none of this is impressive. As we head into the Easter weekend, we're going to see this kind of front move in and kind of stick around. As a result, isolated showers are possible on Saturday and on Sunday. Best chance of rain and thunderstorms coming our way on Monday. As we settle into a warm-up and a cool down. Hensley Legal Group, 8-day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 60s for us as we head into Saturday. But that rain and that wind won't be too pleasant for us. Although it's isolated and it's spotty, um, it's still with us at times. I think the first half of the day on Saturday is the best chance for rain. As we get into Monday and Tuesday, those rain chances become more numerous and temperatures cool down behind the front.